Hello everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I am the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization and we are open source project launch blueprinting everything necessary to create self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities all over the world. Uh, today what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you an update as I have been for the last five weeks. This is video blog number five. I'd like to give you an update on everything we've accomplished in the last week, and then I would love to have uh, maybe a 10 or 15 minute share about diversity, which is one of one community's highest values, and just kind of talk about equality and diversity good practice and what that means to us. So first off, our updates, let's see, last week um, we have a lot of website infrastructure updates, which is an ongoing process as we're streamlining the website, making it easier, and turning it more and more into the open source project launch portal that it's meant to be where people can access everything that they need to be able to duplicate all aspects of one community everything that we do is being designed without copyrights patents or limits of use in any way shape or form and we're specifically taking the time and energy to make it usable and easily duplicable so it's not just we call it more than open source we call it open source project launch blueprinting because everything is meant to be a launch point for projects that could be completely different, which is a really good thing to talk about since I'm going to talk about diversity, because that's really what it's in support of, is the idea that people might not agree with the way that we're doing things, or they might want to do it different or better or whatever. The idea from our perspective is to make the information usable and available so that there's a project launch platform, a foundation that people can work off of. And if you want to hear about our open source philosophy or our highest good philosophy and how this really applies to that, I did a, a blog on each of those in the last few weeks, so check those things out. Um, so uh, the website infrastructure that we completed this week was we've pretty much finished the framework now for what those open source project launch blueprint, blueprint hubs and portals are going to be. And what I mean by that is we've been going into, say, the Earthbag Village page, which is the, the launch point for everything necessary to build an earth bag village, and that'll include how many hours it takes, where to buy your materials, what materials are necessary, everything that we ran into as problems when we started to build it, how we solved those problems, ongoing communication with, with people that are using the blueprints and also building uh, open source earth bag villages. All those details are going to be parked in one place, and, and so what we're doing is we're creating the lists of what we know we'll be able to offer so that then as we start designing out and completing those details and then once we get on the property and start building those links will become pages with everything that people need so that so that you can duplicate every aspect of one community and so the pages that we specifically finished in this last week were the earthbag village page which is how to build a sustainable earthbag village including food infrastructure the straw bale page which will be how to build a straw bale modularly expandable village, so earth bag villages are maximally affordable sustainability, and the straw bale village, which we call pod 2, is going to be maximum uh, modular and adaptable sustainability, in that you'll be able to build one unit and you could expand on that indefinitely if you wanted to as a community or village or eventually city grew. And so we've created the open source portals for those, what those are going to look like. Um, we also created the, uh, the portals for our business development, so one, another aspect of one community that we are open source project launch blueprinting, and we've already done this for our nonprofit, so we, we're now creating the portal for our nonprofit setup, our, uh, and then the business of creating an ecotourism resort, the first place in the world where people will be able to come and see the top seven sustainable building methods in one place and to be able to experience those, to stay in one of these homes and see how they function, to talk to people that live this way all the time and then take everything necessary to be able to duplicate that for free with you. And so that's what we're creating and, and the, the model is to create an ecotourism resort and then to open source project launch blueprint that and teach other people as they set up these self-sufficient teacher demonstration cities how to run a similar model so that people have more and more places to visit and, and in so doing, we're also creating the marketing engine to be able to support everybody else that's on board with the highest good and open source free sharing philosophy that we are endorsing and project launch blueprinting as well. 
And so the business page is now set up, and uh, this week hopefully we'll be able to start putting in the content in there. Like I said, the non our, everything we did to set up our nonprofit is already done, and so that link is active. And then as we continue to develop the eco tourism resort slash um, school of sustainability, where people will be coming for, on scholarships, and then of course there's full time uh, members of one community that will be living there. That whole model is also going to be filled out, and then the other, the other open source project launch uh, hub that we completed this week was the Highest Good Society, which is all of the social aspects of one community and what we're creating there, which is the the model of fulfilled living, the personal growth and self development aspects of it, the diversity aspects that I'm going to talk about here in a few minutes. And so those hubs are all done. Along with all of that, we've also got some updates. And if you want to see, by the way, the details and all this stuff, I always say, you know, we add, we do a, a blog on this too, so I don't have to talk too much about it. And we do a written blog on on each week's update. So click on the link in YouTube here. Click on the link down below in the description. There's the link to the blog specifically about what I'm talking about here, including images and things like that. Because we did create some more design details and updates to the Earthbag Village, including uh, the design details for what the bathrooms are going to look like, what the communal showers are going to look like. We're doing a really innovative vermiculture bathroom design that's being incorporated with all of this as well. And so uh, if you want to see pictures on that, click down below. We also have some pretty significant updates for the Education for Life program, and this is one of the reasons why I chose to say let's talk about equality and diversity uh, good practice because we finished the diversity page for the Education for Life curriculum aspect of the Education for Life program. And so if you'd like to read that diversity page, once again, click on the link. I'll include the links down here. And that discusses how to teach diversity, how to explore the diversity of the world, religions, cultures, ethnicities, uh, races, all of these things, as well as the diversity of our interaction with the world. So included with that was the exploration of the senses and, and understanding and exploring how to diversify how we see things, how we hear things, how we taste things and explore that. And so that page is done as well. And all this stuff is an open source collaborative. So if you have any suggestions when you go to those pages, take a look at them. If you have suggestions on how we can make them better, please click on the links for sending us your suggestions so that we can improve this and make it an even better resource for the world to be able to use. Um, additionally, we finished the Regio page. So in creating this Education for Life program, we've been doing tons of research on all of the different primary teaching systems out there that are really out of the box revolutionary systems. And so we've done Waldorf, we've done Montessori, we've done the Orff Schulwerk system, and now we've also completed the Regio system. And so if you go to our education portal or click on the link down below, you can take a look at the Regio page and everything that we've done as far as researching that and the Regio strategies for being a great teacher, the Regio strategies for teaching specific things, the unique things that we found that were curriculum ideas that were unique to Regio, uh, unique Regio ideas for designing a classroom. All these details are the things that we are researching for all the best systems out there. And we want to create the most amazing open source, free shared, and globally collaborative education program in the world. And so, and doing this, we're studying all these systems, and that page is now done as well. And then the last thing that we did, well, not the last thing, but I always forget stuff. Uh, we, I said last week that I'd have some pretty cool updates this week, and the one that I'm most excited about is the planting schedule for the tropical atrium. We still got to do it for the aquaponics. We've done a lot of research on that, but we've completed the planting schedule. So the specific details of what we're going to plant, where we're going to plant it, how much it's going to cost. It's a really great example of what it is that we'll be providing as open source content. Details on each of the plants and things like that. And so we still need to create the web page, which is going to take a lot of time because it's a huge amount of information. But we have completed that research. It's done. And uh, the team put, I mean, just in the last week, uh, Bear put in over 60 hours on that that component. So the team has really been working hard on getting this done. Same thing with the education component. A lot of work has been done 
on that. Another announcement that I wanted to make is hopefully this week is the week when we'll be able to open source our back office. We have a specific um, application that we've created for tracking our time and keeping track of what we're working on and where we're investing our energy that will be used in the community and in villages and in these cities to be able to produce objective data on how much time and energy it takes to build the earth bag village objective data on how much how what how much time and energy is put into fulfilled living how much time is actually invested in community duties or domestic duties and things like that which should be which will be significantly lower than traditional uh, living models because it's shared you know, the idea is that one person cooking food can prepare in about the same amount of time uh, food for 10 people that they would if they were just preparing for two people. If you put two or three people in a team working together to prepare food for 30 or 50 people, then you've saved immense amounts of time. Same thing applies to laundry and childcare and all these other aspects. And so we've got an application that we've been beta testing for a couple weeks and we designed specifically for this purpose and are going to continue to evolve indefinitely. But we're ready to open source the foundations of that. We've got a hub set up so you can go and kind of play around with it, and test it, and see where it is. And so uh, I'm excited to say that hopefully this week will be the week that we can actually release that. We've written, we're writing two or three blogs about the evolution of that and how we got to where we are. And so all that stuff is coming this week. So lots of exciting stuff is happening. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I would like to talk about diversity. Today in history is a very interesting day. If you, uh, depending on when you're watching this, Google what's going on right now. There's a lot of cool stuff talking and being happening right now in history. You know, diversity has always been a big part of history. Uh, what I think is different right now, in from a historical perspective, is the accessibility of information, and and people realizing that there is great strength in our differences. And this idea that equality and diversity good practice is really in, in the best interest of the individual and all of humanity and the planet and everything else. And so one community really embraces this idea. You know, one community was founded in the ideas of, of Martin Luther King, of Gandhi, of the Dalai Lama, of Jesus, of all these ideas of great thinkers, not affiliated with a religion or any type of ideology, but just the concept, the mentality that that diversity is a really good thing and celebrating the differences of race and gender and age and religion and sexual preference and lifestyle and all of these things. Just saying that, hey, difference is really a great thing. And not only is it a great thing, but it is foundational to our desire to want to open source project launch blueprint amazing solutions to the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come. And the reason why I say that is specifically because the idea is that we're really aware that we are thinking within our box. Whatever, whatever our life experiences have been to get us to where we are has created some form of thinking about things. And so when one community was founded, when it was formed and when it was finally launched and 15 years of preparation of going into developing it, really thought about, well, how, how is it that we would create the, the team necessary to really, really tackle the most challenging issues of our day and to create solutions and not just create solutions that work for us as individuals, but to create solutions that work for everybody that work for all of humanity and to share those solutions in a way that humanity can use them and build off of those to create a paradigm shift towards sustainability by enrolling the mainstream by getting just average people involved because one community creates something the idea of creating a sustainable self-sufficient community teacher demonstration village provides a better way of life than they're currently experiencing and a path, the first one, one community creates a path to achieving that that is demystified, that is doable, that has a specific number, a dollar amount attached to it so people know what their financial investment would be, what their time investment would be, and what they can expect at the end of their journey of building a self-sufficient teacher demonstration village. And we believe that in creating that, that in creating that, 
and making it simple that it will become self-replicating, that enough people will see it and want it, that it will literally grow exponentially, meaning one or two communities or villages starting up the first year after we start building ours and providing what's necessary so people can follow easily in our footsteps, and then two more the year after that, two more a year, and four more after that, eight after that, 16 after that, 32, and so on, expanding exponentially. And so the diversity component is foundational to that. It's foundational in two ways. First and foremost, to create the One Community Team, we have reached out to the world. The One Community Team is not a group of friends that said, hey, we should do this. The One Community Team is a group of people that said, we share a common vision that came across the One Community website and said, whoa, this is what I want to create. I want to be a part of historic world change with One Community. And then they went through the application process. Hundreds of people have applied to become the One Community pioneers that are creating this. So from a diversity perspective, we really couldn't be more diverse because we've reached out to the world outside of our own comfort zones and we've said, hey, who wants to create this with us? Who's interested in creating moral change like this? This is what we're creating. And so that's the first part. One community is open to everybody and we are combing the globe for the people that really see this the same way that we do, have the highest good for all philosophy and consciousness to be able to stick with it and the dedication, the accountability, the work ethic, and the necessary skills to come together and build something that is usable and useful to everyone. And the second part is we're creating it with the understanding that the way that we're doing it might not work for everybody. The way that we're doing it might be completely different than how somebody else would do it. And in support of that diverse concept, in support of global diversity, and recognizing that if one community is going to become self-replicating, if it's going to become self-propagating, if it's going to spread, if the idea of creating these self-sufficient teacher demonstration villages globally collaborating and working together is going to really catch on. It needs to have options that are as diverse as humanity is diverse. It needs to have a, a path of creation and an end result that is going to represent the broad diversity of humanity that might want to apply it such that it works for everyone. And so that's why we're so committed, one of the many reasons why we're so committed to open source creation, why we call it project launch blueprinting. Because the idea is that we want to see other people launching projects off of the work and everything that we're doing, and we're bringing together the diversity of individuals necessary with the diversity of viewpoints and backgrounds and skill sets to solve some of these problems that have never, just never been tackled. And they're huge. So these things are really huge, you know? The idea of creating a complete earthbag village from scratch is really, really a monumental achievement in and of itself. And when we're done with that, then we will build a straw bale village and then a cob village and so on and so forth so that people have one place that they can go that represents that diversity of sustainability options. And then within each village model, there will be a diversity of how to apply that sustainable model within that as well. 50 different earth bag home models so that you can see the artistic aspects that we developed throughout the creation of the entire village and then other people will take that as a launch point for creating something even more magnificent and beautiful. And so that's why I say that in my opinion, in our opinion, there is great strength in our differences and in our diversity and so we are really reaching out and it's one of the aspects of a highest good society that we are really working to project launch blueprint. We're still getting better at it, you know, creating this, this outreach program so that we can do the best of our ability to bring people from other countries, to bring different nationalities and ethnicities and races together, to collaborate and cooperate for the highest good of all people, and to create something that's usable for everybody, irrespective of race, irrespective of gender, irrespective of age, irrespective of sexual preference and lifestyle and religion, all of that stuff. Let's transcend that and create something that, that, that celebrates it for what it is and uh, operates beyond those limitations. Because I think that there, well, there's no question that there's now a huge growing group of people that really, really want this. And that is what we're focused on as an organization, and that's why we talk about equality and diversity, uh, good practice, 
and that's why we call ourselves one community because we are already one community, one people, one, one, one consciousness having its experience right here, working together and creating something really amazing, you know, with a shared set of values and and saying, hey, let's create this so that so that people can use it the way that they want, and so. That's what I have to say about diversity and uh, check out our project. If you like the kind of things that we're talking about, please like this video, share the video, get it out there. Um, talk about what we're doing with other people. Remember, uh, we're creating this for everyone. Our way isn't the right way. It's not the best way. It's not even the way that we think that other people should do it. It's the way that we're choosing to do it. And, and as part of that, is this idea that we want to create it in a way that's maximally usable and maximally adaptable to the ways that other people would like to apply this information that could be completely different and we celebrate that diversity and we applaud uh, anybody that would like to get involved and so also if you'd like to get involved specifically with one community we are always taking applications for community pioneers as well as consultants and partners to the project that would like to get involved in historic world change with us and help us create this one community is designed to grow indefinitely so if you're running into this video a decade from now you can take a look and see what we're creating right now and we'll still be creating because that's the whole point that's my idea of a good time and that's uh, everybody who is a uh, team member with one community and joins our organization that's their idea of a good time too this constant creativity and expression of of what we're capable of when we work together and we bring different ideas together and we say let's create and so that's it thanks for listening stay tuned in please check out our blog each week you know once we get on the property we'll be doing probably two three it just initially we'll be doing at least two or three of these a day and then we want to work that up to the point where we're doing you know 20 50 a day blogs from different people and all the different components once one community glow, grows into the hundreds of full-time residents working together and collaborating and creating for the highest good of all humanity then we'll be able to put out more and more of these blogs as a group and so but beginning on once we get on the property and we just are in one place we should be able to easily put out two or three a day so please follow us subscribe to our channel check out our facebook updates page one community updates on facebook also our inspirational page one community fans we've got a transformational education page we've also got a transformational education youtube channel you know we're doing all kinds of amazing awesome stuff and we're sharing it as quickly and effectively and efficiently as we can. And we are so grateful for everybody that follows our progress and tunes in and uh, checks us out and shares us with your friends, et cetera, et cetera. So thanks. Celebrate diversity. Have a beautiful day. And namaste. <laughs>